Hey, how are you guys doing? This is Antoy. I just wanted to take a moment to check on you guys and see how everyone's doing. How are you guys feeling? How are you guys holding up during this corona outbreak and stay at home order? Um, it's been crazy. Um, a lot of you guys don't know that um, when I got pregnant, I found out that I did not have certain immunities to like chicken pox, measles, mumps, rubella. Um, I don't know how um, because I had them when I was a child and I had shots, um, you know, several times <laughs> when I was going to school and when I came into the country. But for some reason, when I tested, I didn't have immunity. So technically, I had to be on uh, quarantine lockdown for most of my pregnancy um, in New York. Um, they've had, you know, chicken pox and um, a bit of an epidemic um, last year. So my doctors wanted to be, me to be really careful um, to not get that because it could be harmful to the baby. So I've kind of been doing what you guys are doing um, for about 11 months now. Um, and it's interesting that this is going on right now because when I had to stay at home and wear masks and gloves and not touch anything and wash my hands and create a sanitary, you know, sanitized area in my home and not, you know, pick up my mail without wearing gloves and not pick up, you know, Amazon boxes. Um, for like the last 11 months, I had no idea that it was preparing me for this. Um, and during a quarantine and a lockdown and a period of self-isolation, there's a lot that you can go through because you're just stuck in the house, even though you may not normally you may not have wanted to go anywhere anyway. But just the fact that you can't, it creates like a whole other energy. So I definitely know what everyone's going through right now. And I've been living it for about 11 months now. So it's amazing to me that now I see other people walking around with masks and wearing gloves and at the time when I was doing it, the last 11 months, I looked like a maniac. They were like, why is this woman walking around with gloves and a mask, especially like in the summertime? But now it's like a common thing. I was in the city the other day and, you know, there weren't really anyone out, but the people I saw had masks on. They had masks on out walking their dogs. So now it's like the way to stay safe now. Um, since I've you know, gotten to do this for a lot longer than most of you had. And now with me seeing everything that's happening with this coronavirus, I want to do my part. I've been on maternity leave and a bit of a hiatus um, from the Antoy show and Mango CTV, but I can't just sit here and not be here for you guys and not offer support in the way that I know how to, which is through being here, you know, sharing what I've learned, um, my experiences in creating content. Um, it probably won't be the content you're probably used to seeing from me because I really want to um, be here as a means of support. Um, I don't yet know what that will look like, but I'm just going to be raw and spontaneous and be in the moment of what's happening now um, and just really share what I've learned in my 11 months of being um, locked up <laughs> and not being able to really touch anything. So um, I'm praying for everyone every day. I pray for my family, my friends, my social media community, um, business associates. I, I just pray for everyone in the world, um, other countries that are going through this as well. Um, I pray for the healthcare professionals and the Uber drivers and the Instacart people and anyone that's having to do deliveries because everyone's all at home. So I ask that you guys just, you know, pray um, for them as well. Pray for me and my family. I'll pray for you. And if you don't pray, at least take a moment to just send positive energy to the people that are out there on the front lines, like the healthcare workers and, you know, the delivery people and the janitors and all of those people um, that still police officers, firemen, people that still have to work during this time. So 
it's unbelievable that this is happening. I mean, I've seen so much throughout my time um, here on this planet, and this is this is intense. It's very intense. So um, I just want to create a space where we can communicate with each other. Feel free to DM me, message me, text me, email me. Um, you can go to antoygrant.com um, for some inspirational content. If you're home and bored, um, read a vlog. You know, um, during this time, you know, if you choose, um, if you're healthy and, you know, you have the ability to, it's a great time to work on yourself and work on all those things that you've been putting off that you were so busy and didn't have time to do. It's a great time to do that. You can also... Um, you know, find ways in your own way that you can um, assist the planet, assess, you know, assist people and assist during this time. You know, it could be something simple. If you know how to sew, you know, maybe make some masks. If you know, you know, how to, you know, volunteer somewhere that needs help. You know, I know we're all trying to be safe and stay home, but, um, you know, just give back in your own way. Um, cause it's really going to take each and every one of us to get through this together. So, um, I also want to offer some coaching, um, some free coaching, like maybe 30 minutes, um, 20, 30 minute coaching session for those that just need to talk and get through this. Um, I kind of have to figure out how to structure that, but um, cause I do have, you know, <laughs> a newborn and he kind of takes a majority of my time. So, um, but I do definitely want to offer that to everyone. So you guys hang in there. I will be coming on here and giving you amazing content to keep you uplifted during this time and stay safe, stay protected, follow the guidelines and the protocols that are put out there to keep you safe. I love you guys.